So we're going to start off in Google Docs and we're going to click on add-ons. Then we're going to choose get add-ons and we're going to search through the available apps. We're going to type in Extensis. Click on the Extensis Fonts app and choose install to add it to your Google Docs. Click on install and then you're going to have to click on continue and you'll have to sign in with your Google account and just give permission for this to be added to your Google Docs. So just sign in. And click on allow. So just close this window. And then to actually activate the Extensis Fonts app that you've just installed, you'll need to click on add-ons, hover over Extensis Fonts and click on start. This will bring up the pane on the right hand side for the Extensis Fonts app. So I type something in and then I'm just going to select a few fonts to show you. So there's thousands in this, in this app, it's amazing. So I'll just choose a few so you can see the different options that are available. So to help you choose, you can filter the fonts by different styles, so for example handwriting. You can also choose fonts that are trending, so you can see what people are using the most. Really popular fonts. Okay, number two is another extension. Go to Get Add-ons again. And you'll need to search Fun or Fun Text. It should come up if you just type Fun. Choose the fun text app and again click on install to add it to your Google Docs. You'll have to sign in again and just click on allow to give permission for this app to be added to your Google Docs. Okay, so click on done, close the window, and then to use this one, you don't, you don't start it like you did with the last one and get a pane on the side. For this one, all the options are under the add-ons tab. So you click on add-ons and then hover over fun text and you'll see all the options that you get with this app. So I'll just show you a few now. So you can do rainbow text, You can change the size and on this one it's like randomly sized um, letters and then the highlight colour is the colour that's behind each letter. So that's random highlight colours. And then you can do stuff like turn the letters upside down and add accents and all that kind of thing. And there's also one with bold and italics. So you can see it just gives you a, a few more options to play around with that kids might enjoy. Might just make you know typing out a document a bit more fun for, for them. Okay and for number three we're going to add another add-on. So go back to the add-ons menu. Search magic rainbow unicorns should pop up and then just click on it and install it like we did with the other two. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to type something out first so that you can see what happens when I edit text that's already there. So let me type something out. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm going to highlight the text, go to add-ons, hover over magic rainbow unicorns and click on start and then you get the magic rainbow unicorns pane on the right hand side. So you can choose original rainbow colours and that's how it looks. And then you can also choose, instead of having the rainbow, the original rainbow colours, you can choose where you want the rainbow to start and finish. So for example, I'm choosing to start on blue and finish on yellow. So it won't have like red or pink or orange in it. I'm choosing highlighter rather than font colour this time and you can see the rainbow has been applied to the kind of background behind the text this time instead of the text itself. You can choose the number of rainbows, which if you have one, it's really like smooth. And then if you make the number a bit higher, it's much more blocky looking like this.